Hey, how's it going? My name is Theodore. You can call me Teddy. I've just received a phone call from Boeing. They want me there. But I have to figure out how to derive the Y-force due to the rolling rate. You'd think since they're so smart, they'd already have it figured out. Well, I guess I'll do it anyway. Hello, I'll do it. Okay, calm down. I'm on to something here. First, start with the Y-force equation. You know, let's see, this one right here. Um, it's Y equals Y-force coefficient times the dynamic pressure times the plan form area. Next, I've got to figure out what to do with this equation. Ew, this curses me out. <coughs> Can you help me figure this out? Yeah, man, I think so. Yeah, so I figured out how to take the derivative of this y-force equation with respect to p and got dy dp equals dcy dp times qs, right? Sounds good. I'm a genius. Yeah, whatever. You don't think so? You only got one PhD, man. But it's from tech. Nerd. What did you call me? You heard me. At least I'm not CS. Whatever. What's wrong? You rearranged it. It's not the same. Yeah, it's all ugly now. I just moved QS to the other side. You can't just move stuff around on us. I actually calculated the stability derivatives of this plane, unlike my loser friend back there. What's up, Roger? Bump the Cheerios! He forgot to non-dimensionalize the derivative by deriving with respect to PB over 2U. Mmm, thanks. So, now we've got to use the chain rule. Roger always forgets about the chain rule. No, I don't! Sure. Yeah, so Frank here thinks he knows how to properly non-dimensionalize the stability derivative. I'm almost done. No, no you're not. But I've already done it in my head in like two seconds. Yeah, I'm like one fiftieth of his age. Well, I've got it. Except it's wrong. You forgot to flip the PB over 2U when you multiplied. Shoot! So, you're supposed to get this. Take a look at that. Burned! Yeah, so I busted out the clubs with an old professor today. It took all 18 holes to explain this next step to him. I had to remind him that dcy dp is equal to dy dp over qs, and then plug it into the equation from the chain rule, then solve for dy dp, and we get this equation. I knew that already. It's okay, old man. You're past your prime. You derive about as well as you play golf. From Nelson, page 107, rearrange the aerodynamic derivative to... <coughs> dy dp equals yp times m so do you understand what to do this time raymond uh not really know <laughs> <laughs> oh. where i was last night finishing that derivative oh yeah i substituted this equation into that one did a little rearranging wow and finished the stability derivative Guess who's got a job? Going to Boeing! And that stupid what's-her-face didn't help you? Uh, no. What'd you call me?